Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question demonstrating our knowledge on line plots. Here's our question. The distance in miles that seven students live from school are shown. Which of the following line plots shows the distances the seven students live from school? So I'm going to ask you to pause and solve this question. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So the first thing we want to understand is that we're talking about line plots. We have four line plots to look at here. And they're saying that the line plot that is correct is going to represent the distances that seven students live from school. So that means there need to be seven X's or seven pieces of data on each of these line plots. So let's check that first. Choice A, one, two, three, four, five. So choice A cannot be a possible answer because it only has five pieces of data and it needs to represent the data for seven students. B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could be B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could be C. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could be D. But notice just by understanding that these X's represent each piece of data, we have ruled out or eliminated choice A. Now the next thing I would do is I am looking right here that this is my data and all seven of these data numbers need to be represented with an X on a line plot. So now that I've seen that, I'm looking at the smallest piece of data in there. This is my strategy. It's not the only way to look at this. But one eighth is the smallest piece of data. And if I look at each one of these line plots, each of the number lines is the same. And we can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight intervals. So each one of these little tally or tick marks represents one eighth. So if my smallest piece of data or distance that a student lives from school is one over eight, one eighth, B should have a plot right here. And there is no X on this. So therefore, we can rule out choice B because the smallest piece of data is not on that line plot. Let's go to C. 1 8 is right here, so it could be C, and 1 8 is here for D. So the smallest piece of data is on both the line plots for C and D, but we've already eliminated another choice. So now the next thing I want to look at is what's different between plot C and plot D. Plot C has a data point right here at 7 8 and plot D has a data point at 5 eighths. But notice that plot D does not have a data point at 7 eighths, and plot C does not have a data point at 5 eighths. So let's go up to our data and see if either of these are in there. Hopefully one is, so that one of these is correct. One and one eighth, one and one eighth, three fourths. Ooh, seven eighths is right here. So data from C is on there, but 5 eighths does not exist in this data, so we can rule out choice D Looking at choice C, we can see if this is 1 8 2 8 we should have a 3 8 There's 3 8 We should have 2 3 4 3 4 and 3 4 Here's our 7th 8 And then over here, 1 and 1 8 there should be 2, and here's our 2. So we now have confirmed that this line plot represents this data, and the answer is C. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow, and please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Have a great day.